Hey, Dr. Kevin here from AbundantU.com. It's time for a new insane 20-minute HIIT workout on the elliptical. I hope you're ready because I know I am. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and jump on your elliptical, hit the quick start mode, get those feet moving. We're gonna do a five minute warm up. So we're getting our body warmed up, our joints ready, our mindset right for an insane workout. All right. So today's agenda is actually just gonna be eight rounds of high intensity interval training. So what I mean by that is we're gonna go as hard as we possibly can for 30 seconds we're gonna then lower the gear down, recover, catch our breath fully, so we can explode into the following round over and over. We're gonna repeat that. We're gonna do that eight times. So it's gonna be a total of 20 minutes. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a quick workout, but it's gonna be killer. So we're just warming up. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be making sure we get a full body at, a workout out of this. So we're gonna use our arms, we're gonna use our legs as much as possible. We're gonna keep ourselves upright. We're gonna just be pedaling forward and we're gonna be giving it our all. So if you're new to HIIT training, or if you need to modify this workout, definitely do. Always check with your doctor too before you start any type of cardio program, any type of fitness program. But I'm just going light here. So your speed might go up to, your resistant level on your elliptical might go up to 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever it is. So mine goes up to 20. So I'm doing my warm up right now. I'm about at, I'm at, I'm at a 10. And my elliptical has a pitch. So you can play with the pitch if you like, if you're experienced with that, if you're trying to work on your glutes more, get more activation of those glutes, definitely raise your pitch up. But for me, I'm gonna play with it. I'll keep it at level one right now, but I will move it. I will increase it with the rounds. So we're just moving our arms, moving our body. Now the key here, when you do your hit round, when you do the 30 seconds on as hard as you possibly can, and I'm talking like a 10 out of 10 scale or nine out of 10 scale, you are actually gonna raise your resistance up. Most people do their hits around 50 to 75% of the max resistance their machine will allow. So you gotta just figure out what's best for you. And as you start to fatigue more in the, in the rounds, you will, you can lower your resistance back down to a lower resistance, but still giving it your all. So you gotta find that sweet spot where you're pushing hard enough with resistance, but you're not, you know, so you're able to actually move your elliptical machine, but at the same time, you're not stuck. And you definitely don't wanna just be spinning your elliptical machine. You want some resistance. All right. Make sure we're breathing good here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm gonna let you know when we're 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and even three seconds away from blast off of each round. So remember here, we're doing sprint training, surge training, whatever you wanna call it. We're going as hard as we can, and we're gonna lower our heart rate back down, and we're gonna blast off again. So we go to a point of max fatigue, catch our breath, gain our energy back, and then burst through it again. We are not just keeping this high intensity the entire time. We have to recover. That's a big mistake with HIIT workouts. You gotta make sure you can recover so you can push yourself as hard as you can the following round. Every round should be challenging. It's a hit workout. It should not be easy for anybody. So remember here, we're getting our arms, our chest and get activated, our glutes, our quads, hamstrings, calves, all those muscles activated. All right, one minute till blast off. So I want you to get laser focused. You got eight rounds, 30 seconds spaced by 90 seconds of rest or recovery. So the recovery period is designed for you to catch your breath fully. 30 seconds. 
So we've got 30 more seconds before we go into it. Get laser focus, get ready to increase the intensity or the resistance, and we're gonna push it. Ten seconds. Raise that intensity up. Three, two, one, go. Right, lower the resistance down if you need to. Catch your breath. One round down, seven to go. Oh yeah, this is a long burner. Keep your breathing up, Keep your chest up. Got seven to go, you're in it. Remember here, go slow enough to catch your breath fully. You need as much energy as possible. So remember, you gotta modify this depending on your machine settings. 30 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Start raising that resistance back up. Crank it to the max. Three, two, one, go. Time. Beautiful. Throw the resistance back down. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel that in your glutes. Feel that in your arms. Engage your core as you do this. Catch your breath. Six to go. Remember, we're just going light here. Key here is to catch your breath. Heart rate's gonna go back down. It's gonna go way up after. Thirty seconds. Keep breathing, chest up. Ten seconds. Start increasing that resistance. Get ready for it. Three, two, one.
right. Throw that resistance back down. Three down. You got this. Five to go. You're gonna notice it's gonna keep on getting more challenging for you as you get more fatigued. That's why it's so critical to catch your breath during these break periods. Remember, the benefits of the HIIT workout come during the burst segments, not during the recovery. Thirty seconds. You got this. Stay laser focused. You got this. Ten seconds. Get ready. Start increasing that resistance. We're gonna blast off. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Keep going. Keep breathing. You're halfway there. Four more to go. You're not quitting. Catch your breath. Take it easy here. Fully grasp your hair. Get all your air back. Feel that in your diaphragm. <laughs> Remember, these HIIT workouts only need to be performed two to three times a week. Don't want to overtrain. You always want to shock your body. Thirty seconds. Also critical to cross train. So do these HIIT workouts on your elliptical. You try on the treadmill. Try and recover the bike. Try it on different equipment as well. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Catch your breath, here we go. Raise your resistance up. Three, two, one, go. Throw that resistance back down. Five down. Three, two, go. Do not quit. Remember, slow your roll right now. Take your time, catch your breath. All right, 30 seconds. 
Remember, we're catching our breath here. Very low resistance. We're getting ready. We're gonna remember, pull it on your legs and your arms and let it rip. When your legs give out, push harder with your arms and vice versa. 10 seconds. Sorry, increasing that resistance. Three, two, one, go. Lower that resistance back down. You did it, six rounds, you got two to go. Round six is always a challenging one. You will catch your breath, I promise. <laughs> Keep it going. Catch your breath. Two more rounds. You can do anything for two rounds. Come on. It's only a four minute workout you're doing. Maximum effort, maximum results. Every single time with their workouts. You're holding back, you're only cheating yourself. 30 seconds. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun with this. <laughs> 10 seconds. Start increasing that resistance. Get ready for it. Three, two, one, go. that resistance back down oh yeah 90 seconds catch your breath one more round you are in it oh yeah you're really feeling that in your lungs glutes arms full body Catch your breath. Now you better be pushing yourself every round, but make sure this last round too, do not leave anything in the tank. Remember 30 seconds, then we're gonna do a cool down. Don't skip the cool down either. Get ready for it. Catch your breath here. Ten seconds. Sorry, increasing that resistance. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. 
cool down. Take it easy, keep, keep those feet moving. Catch your breath. 30 seconds, catch your breath at least. Come on. You did it, you just crushed it. That was an insane 20 minute hit workout on the elliptical. Bravo. Remember, two to three times a week maximum. Definitely wanna stretch out your, your glutes, hamstrings, arms, everything after this. Replenish too, electrolytes. And make sure too, if you haven't already, there's a new ebook on our website at AbundantU.com as well as in the comment section. I wanna know what you think about this workout. How tough was it for you? If it's your first time here, make sure you say hey. And make sure to check out our other HIIT workout videos. You do wanna cross train your HIIT workouts just like you wanna cross train all your other exercises. So just going light here. Let our heart rate come back down. Always recommend doing this first thing in the morning on a fasted state. It causes your body to actually pull more energy storage. So it's gonna pull from your fat. And make sure if you're just starting out, okay, go light, but you need to be pushing yourself. I feel that rush of endorphins after this hit workout. I love it. When we are bursting with our arms, our legs, getting those fast twitch muscle fibers going. We're gonna be getting lean for the next 24 hours with our metabolism revved up. Hit workouts have been shown to burn sometimes even up to nine times more calories after the workout than your traditional low intensity cardio. So major after burning effects. All right, great job today, guys. You just completed a new, insane 20-minute hit workout on the elliptical. It was no mercy out there because we're giving it our haul 100%. Now, make sure to comment below. I wanna know what you think about this workout. If you did it, please, as well as like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell button so you'll get notified with our new workouts coming out. Also, check out our website at abundu.com or download my new free ebook on the top seven tips to make sure your hit workouts are most effective towards your weight loss goals. I'll see you in the next workout.